Good morning, Liz. Hey, Liz. Hi, good morning, you guys. Well, yes, uh, Bristol hairdressing is open for business today. They're actually going to be pretty busy because the owner tells me they're going to cram as many appointments as they can today because, well, we don't know and they don't know what's going to happen come midnight. But what we do know is what the governor announced yesterday, and that was that all indoor operations in California, in those 30 counties, including San Diego, will have to close. And that includes businesses like uh, hair salons. And we are in here inside Bristol Hairdressing. I have Cole King. She is the owner of this establishment. Cole, you were telling me you and your husband opened up this beautiful location just two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's been great so far, but as of lately, it's yeah. been a roller coaster for you guys. Tell me about how you're feeling today. We are in shock, and let me be clear. I mean, we, we practice social distancing and follow all the guidelines with all of our customers and everything. We want to keep everybody safe. And so as far as today goes, we are remaining open so that our, our staff here, that our, our booth renters can collect their gear to take it home so that everybody can be safe and they can figure out what they're going to do. But we are still navigating these guidelines because everything's up in the air. So we are in... I guess it's a feeling of panic and a feeling of fear that was just brought off of this cliff of gratefulness of being open. And we are trying to be diligent and figure out our adaptability in this whole process. Like, how do we adapt? People don't know if we're going to be able to, like, maybe even operate outside. State board has said no, not right now. But it's almost like they aren't even adapting for us. Yeah, I can see how that can be tough. And You've already, you and so many other businesses have already had to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to make those changes mm -hmm. to open because you guys, ha you guys were able to open, what, June 1st. Changes like a moment ago, um, Charlotte shows you that, uh, you know, you have these hand sanitizing uh, locations. There's hand sanitizer all over. But that's just the small ounce of the changes that you've made. Yeah. You've obviously made changes here. Talk to me about th what's been invested. So we've, and I, I couldn't even tell you a dollar amount. I mean, we have a um, fogger that's supposed to sanitize our air and our air filtration system that is on order that we've been trying to get here. Um, it seems like all of our regulators aren't taking that into account and in the things that we're doing into account. We are using me medical grade items to help clean our space. We sanitize the entire station, including the products from top to bottom floor to ceiling whenever a client comes in and has touched anything. And the cleaner that we use is a amazing cleaner if people want to reach out to me, but it cleans COVID in four minutes. We time it for 10. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking shampoo sinks and everything. We top to bottom time it for 10 minutes to make sure that we are taking care of everything and taking care of our people. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as the investment, my husband has been amazing with adapting to the changes. We had a third-party company that regulates some government agencies write us a letter of recommendation. But really, we've had to make up our own rules. And I think that's why you see so much inconsistency when you go to the grocery store and when you go to the gas stations, because everybody's making stuff up to make everybody placebo feel better. Mm -hmm. We are trying to find real ways to keep people safe. Okay. Well, we are going to hang out here. Um, Cole's allowing us to, to be here while they are open because it's not just her and her husband who are here, but there's, you know, independent contractors that are coming in here that, that have their booth. They're going to have their appointments today. And we'll talk more about not only the, the business side of things, but the education side of things because Cole King here is involved with, uh, she collaborates with other professionals not just here in San Diego, but around the world. It's an interesting uh, conversation that she has been, dialogue that she's been having with other professionals in the industry to just try to make sense of what doesn't make sense and what has now become the new norm, at least for now. So that's just a little slice of what's happening here at uh, Bristol Hairdressing, and we'll have more coverage for you coming up here in the next hour, Lauren and Paul. All right. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Liz.